Hello, and welcome to another Porter's Marvel Universe review. Today we will be looking at the classic, uh, the Marvel Universe classic Avengers 3 pack of Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, uh, Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk with Ant Man and Wasp. So, technically, kind of sort of a five pack, but the smaller figures are more of accessories. Uh, but they're also still pretty cool. Uh, I'll get those done out of the way. Um, so, okay, well, first you get a, um, a flying ant. Let's see here. I have it on the saw uh, wire here, and plugging in the styrofoam block, because uh, you actually get a tiny little ant man here. A little tiny, itty bitty little Hank Pym. Um, size comparison, maybe. Um, um, I'm sure. It would be really cool if I could actually show you how. Here you go. Okay, here's a penny. Ah. As you can see, he's about this, the size of a penny. See? It says a penny too. See? There's a blink. And he doesn't have any articulation of any kind. It's really meant to, to just sit onto his flying ant. Like so. Like, I am here to save the day. And a bunch of more ants fall on. I actually do have a lot of plastic insects, though, so I'll try to see if I find as many ants as I can to uh, use for ant man here. That's pretty cool. I like it. And this is smaller than the one that came with the yellow jacket, by the way, so um, uh, you can actually. You can get as many versions of him as you want in different sizes and kind of make a, um, a display of him changing his size, which is pretty cool. You also get a mini wasp, too. Um, now, this is a different costume, and her wings are um, tinted pink now. She's in a different pose. This is an entirely new mold, actually. Um, although I think the rings are actually the same old, they just colored differently. Um, the only other version of Lost is this one that came with the uh, Marvel Universe um, comic pack of uh, Doctor Doom and Absorbery Man uh, from their Secret Wars um, comic pack. So um, while I do like this one better, um, this one's still pretty cool and. Uh, It's just it's not very detailed enough. It doesn't really look. And then her helmet's kind of funny looking. At least this one has hair. Overall, oh, pretty cool though. Um, now what you really want to see, though, is um. Uh, the Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk. But uh, I'll show you the, the box real quick first. Um, now the background of the box is this cool, awesome space, um, uh, space design kind of. And you can take it out and actually put it on your shelf and display your figures with it. Um, in fact, I've had it on the shelf behind um, Thanos. Let's look at that. Does that look cool? Or uh, any space like um, space themed uh, superheroes and supervillains such as Thanos, Captain Marvel, Silver Surfer, Galactus, whatever. Although Galactus is too big for this, but you get my point. Anyway, it's a pretty basic box. This um, set runs about uh, 20 bucks, so it's an awesome value. And I uh, for these reviews, over a more, you tell you to go and get it, but um, 
Yeah, that's a nice picture of Thor, I mean, and Hulk. And, uh, at least the... And then here's the bag. Steve Rogers, the X-Force pack, the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo, um, quick little bio, and then it says Ant-Man, Waz, Thor, Iron Man, or Thor, Hulk, Iron Man. So... Hold on one second. But, um, yeah, on the, on the side here, it has the same thing. This is classic Avengers. Not, not really too much to the box. Well, also a pretty nice box. A very, uh, it doesn't take too much space, so it's very, I really like it. Um, I think the first one, um, I'll, I'll do is Iron Man. Okay, so this Iron Man is actually a different costume Iron Man, of course. Being that, um, um, this is actually a repaint with a head mold change of the Iron Man 2 first appearance armor, um, from comic series. Um. Uh, while I do have that figure, again, it's not here, um, see, the story goes, in the 60s, when, uh, when Iron Man first, uh, came into comics, he, uh, he was painted all gray, right, but that scared all the kids, and the, the Iron Man True Line released the gray one. Now we got this. This is from when, you know, after he was noticed he was scaring the kids, he didn't really look too much like a hero being all gray and, you know, unpleasant looking, kind of, you know. So, um, he painted himself gold, and this is what, uh, happened. Now, this has every bit of articulation as the other one, as the, um, Iron Man 2 first appearance armor from the comic series does. Although this one has a head remold and an addition to the collar. So, the head turns on. And I think it's heads on a ball joint, if I remember, but I can't really remember, but it's a very nice paint job. There's some dark orange, yeah. And the details with uh, some nice shimmery shiny gold paint, so I really like it. And uh, uh, I will really wanted this Iron Man actually. I wanted all these figures from this pack, so this is an awesome pack to get if you want to complete your Hall of Armor. Because here's another armor that you can use, and this is what I'm gonna do. So yay, gold Iron Man, thumbs up. Um, by the way, while he's out here, I'll show you what the other Iron Man's I have here. Here's the, um, I don't want to say near classic oversize. This one does have some custom paint work done to the yellow by me, but I'll show that off sometime later. Here is the, um, kind of the classic Iron Man, but with the, I guess, horned version. I have the other version that's this, the, uh, that's what this is a remold of. So yeah, here's some Iron Pants. I actually display this one with the, my current Avengers setup now, so I'll actually put him over here to the side. Um, but there you have it. There is Gold Iron Man. Now, we're going to come to Thor. Now, Thor is the exact repaint of the Secret Wars 2-pack Thor that came with the tra uh, Enchantress. With addition, this one has a completely new head sculpt. So, which is a lot better actually. Now he does have Mjolnir, or Mjolnir, um, which is actually really nice in detail. And it's got the inscription here too, which I can actually read because I can actually... Uh, if you know what it says on Thor's hammer, then you would obviously know what this says. You can obviously make out the words Thor on the bottom there. But, uh, if I can remember this correctly, it says, Whosoever wields this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. I believe that's what it's supposed to say. And I just noticed till now, the uh, handle is not painted brown or anything. It's just a solid gray. I just noticed that, actually. Eh. I don't care. I don't mind that. 
it's actually nicely painted for being you know gray with uh, black painted black with a silver wash all around it but pretty simple but cool nonetheless um and for the third figure yeah he's it's like the same so his colors are a little bit different his thing his legs are brighter now uh, but the head sculpt is what's the new thing here so a good look at that. They did a great job with this one. This is the best Thor um, for this costume design yet. So uh, kudos to Hasbro for that. Um, he does retain all this similar t articulation: the uh, the shoulder, the biceps, so single joint elbows, wrist levels torso joint, waist joint, he's got the forward and back, the old school no thigh cut, which I really wish they would have done with him, but uh, if they have, I can't wait to they update this uh, costume of Thor with a thigh swivel and no articulation, and then the foot swivels up and down, and the head rotates. The cape does pop off, uh, attaches rear two pegs there. Um, so, you can give him a cloth cape if you want, which I have done. But, uh, it's pretty much it for him. So, put, uh, the owner back in his hand. And, there you have Thor. Who's, and I don't have an, uh, any version of Thor uh, in this costume. I didn't get the Secret Wars one. So, uh, I'm really glad I get this as well. I really wanted Thor. Okay, last and certainly not least is Hulk. Now this Hulk is actually much different from the other Hulk. Uh, the only one I have it right here is the um, comic pack one that came with Cyclops from the Secret Wars. And as you can see, very internally different. This is more of the savage Hulk with the long green pants and the really angry face and He's a little bit more huge and massive looking than this one. This one, and it's a much nicer darker green with some even darker green um, to accentuate the shading. Um, he's got the old school face sculpt. Um, his pants are a lot shorter, and there's a reason for that. See, because this is kind of a 60s kind of old classic Avengers. Uh, given the Iron Man and Thor hasn't really changed that much in costume wise. Um, I have a comic book here that says, you know, that's uh, Incredible Hulk number 314. It's just some random comic I found that I had in my collection. This is from 1985. As you can see on the cover, he has uh, very short pants, much like displayed in his figure. Which I really like, and I actually really like this. Uh, cover too, because you got Modok and Leader and Rhino, Juggernaut and Abomination going after Hulk. But um, although the face doesn't really suggest that in this one, but um, well, you get my point. This figure would be perfect um, as a repaint uh, for Gray Hulk, um, just like the Marvel Legends one. This is what this reminds me of. Because they had a, the variant one was green, and that's what the face sculpt looks. And I actually really like this figure. I like it actually a whole lot more than this one now. Um, given that he's got the new mold now. He's got the same mold carried off from uh, Juggernaut way back when. So, um, he's got his, uh, the, the uh, arms go out, they rotate at the bicep, uh, yeah, bicep, bend at the elbow, rotate the wrist, they go forward at the uh, hip, back at the hip, off to the side, they got the thigh swivel, double joint knees, the foot goes up and down, rotates 360, and then the torso joint goes up and down, and kind of side to side, um, his head also goes side to side, and down and up, so really awesome, and I love how they improved the articulation for this character, because Hulk is probably my favorite one of the top five um, favorite superheroes of mine. So, given that this is a complete awesome new Hulk and doesn't have, you know, this one's limited articulation with no forward movement and, you know, no 
not really any biceps show up. Kind of had movie articulation, kind of. Um, but uh, this Hulk still has a place in my collection. But um, so yeah, I have five minutes left on this camera, so I'll go ahead and just go and show you my Avengers setup. Well, I do have Hulk and Thor. I don't use this Iron Man. I use this one. Put Ant Man over here. Usually I have Wasp on her own as well, but I don't have her now, so I'll just uh, stick her on to Thor. And then I take uh, Captain America here. And there we go. So this is a great way to, for you to get um, your Avengers team, um, some core members, and some. If you want an old school team, want to have different eras of the team because now that I can, I have this. I um, take this was this Hulk. This uh, Captain America and the uh, Hammer Smash Thor here, and uh, have another team of the four core members of the Avengers. So all I need now is to get Black Panther, Hawkeye, um, Wonder Man, um, some Silver Centurion, uh, Iron Man, and a few others, and I'll have a complete Avengers team. So I. Totally recommend getting this set. They're twenty dollars. You are getting two larger than the average figures. Actually, three because these are larger than average. And being that they are probably about seven bucks each combined, if you want to split them up, um, I think this set's totally worth it. So uh, there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the review and thanks for watching.